So guys, after you get all your pieces cut out, um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do all the prep work for all of your light and wiring holes. So I'll start by saying if your rack isn't gonna have any lights in it, no markers or LED cab lights or the strip turn and stop lights, then you can totally skip this step and just go to the next video. If you are adding lights, um, I'm gonna go over the certain holes and slots and whatever needed for each of those types of lights. So I'll explain each hole and what light it is for. So the first thing I would do is I would lay out your two piece A's as if you were looking at the rear of your rack. So for you guys I have, so this would be your left side of your rack and this would be your right side of your rack. And then you have your 20 degree cut side towards the bottom. So this is your 20 degree side and then your 17 degree cut side towards the top. So it makes it easier if you label each side of your tube so you never get them mixed up and it helps to cut the holes in the right place. So label your 20 degrees. I have 20 degrees written here, 17 written here, 20 degrees written here, 17 written here. And that just helps you to keep your tube straight. Also your seam should be to the inside, the short side of your tube. So I would just lay it out the way it's going to look on the pickup. So the first holes that we're going to cut is if you're adding markers, assuming you're adding six markers, three to each side, first thing we're going to need to do is cut marker holes. So these are, I already have them cut, these are three quarter inch holes. The spacing is kind of up to you, but I mean just a spacing that from experience looks good is three inches from each end to the center of the hole, so three inches there, and then also three inches from the end of here to the center of this hole. This hole I just center on the tube, so whatever the length of your outside tube is, just divide that by two and put that on center. And obviously you're gonna to wanna to center them side to side. So um, you're gonna to need to do that for both sides. So you should have six total marker lights cut in each of your A pieces. So you should have six holes. The next set of holes that you're gonna to need to cut is if you're choosing to put the strip turn and stop lights on your rack. So if you are going to put those on, you're gonna need two holes in the face of your rack. So the side that's gonna be facing towards the tailgate, the side that everyone's gonna see. Um, both of them are in your A pieces. So um, what I do is go seven inches from the long side of your tube to the center of the hole. So seven inches from the long side of the tube to the center of the hole. Obviously you're gonna do that on both sides. Um, for clarity, the hole should be closer to the 17 degree side than the 20 degree side. So seven inches from the 17 degree side. Both sides, so you should have two of those. That is just for your wiring to go through your tube when you put your um, strip, turn, and stop light. Okay, so the third thing you're going to need in your A pieces is you're going to need to cut a wiring hole at the bottom inside. So your hole is gonna be at your 20 degree angled side and towards the bottom. So basically what I have here is an inch and a half by inch and a half square and it is two inches up from the inside edge of your 20 degree side. So obviously you're going to do that on both sides. So I have one here as well and you can either cut this with a torch, a plasma, or a slitter disc but I'm going to go, show ahead, uh, go ahead and show you how to do it with a slitter disc just because that's the tool that everyone has. Um, so first thing you need to do is draw a inch and a half by inch and a half hole at the bottom inside of each of your A pieces. So go ahead and get that drawn and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so after you've got your wiring hole drawn in the 20 degree inside, the inch and a half by inch and a half squares, uh, you're gonna wanna cut those. So basically just clamp your inside, with your inside, the seam side up and my hole that I'm gonna cut is right here. Just clamp it to your workpiece. And then I got my slitter disc on my grinder. I'm just going to cut out the square and then um, do that for both. So you should have, should cut out two holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. So obviously you guys are going to want to do that on both sets of tubes, but um, 
So as you can see, I kind of overlapped, which if you use a slitter disc, it's impossible to not overlap a little bit. But that's not a big deal. All you have to do is just weld the little overlap lines with your welder and then grind them off smooth. So, um, but I mean, to be honest, this isn't even going to show. So depending on how much of a perfectionist you are, you can probably get away with just leaving it like this and no one will ever know. Um, but for this video's sake, I'm just going to show you how to weld up these seams and then grind them off. Okay guys, so once you have both of your light holes cut in each of your A pieces, as you can see here, I did it with a cut and wheel slitter disc, and I have some overlapping cuts, which isn't a huge deal at all. All I'm going to do is just weld in the cracks, and then grind it off, and it'll just be a perfectly good square when I'm done. So first things first, you just need to run a bead down each of these cracks. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so once you have all the cracks welded, um, just reclamp it back to your workpiece and then take your grinder um, flap disc and just grind it off smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so as you can see, it's just a pretty much a perfect square. So just do that for both of your holes, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so after you guys have your two wiring holes cut in the bottom side of your two piece A's, so I got one right here and I got one right here, um, the next thing we're going to move on to is cutting two more wiring holes in your piece C. Before you start, note this is only going to apply if your rack is going to have the work LED lights up at the top of the cab. So if you don't have the work LED lights, you don't have to worry about this step. You can move on to the next one. So um, if you do have the work LED lights, you're going to need to cut two wiring holes on the inside of your piece C. So we're going to do it on the seam side, which should be the inside, the short side of your piece C. Um, piece C tube. So here I have an inch and a half by inch and a half square and here I have an inch and a half an inch and a half square that I'm going to cut. Um, I usually do approximately half inch from the edge but I mean if you're off plus or minus an eighth it doesn't matter this whole area is going to be covered by your work LED lights. So if you have the work LED lights on the cab cut your two inch and a half by inch and a half holes. If you're using a slitter disc just like last time uh, weld up your overlaps and sand them off. After that, we'll move on to the next step.